In this video, we will be going over my favorite camera rig, which allows you to have a video rig and a photo rig within seconds. Welcome back everybody, I'm Jake McHugh and this channel is all about helping you make better videos. I do gear reviews to help you determine what gear you need to make the videos you want to achieve. If that's something that may interest you, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. To start things off, this rig right here is what I use. It may not be the best solution that is for you, but it is what works best for me. I highly recommend that you try out different things to find out what works best for you. Cages are a great product to help protect your investment and they are very handy when you need to mount a bunch of accessories to your camera rig like a monitor, top handle, or a follow focus system. I tend to find that cages bulk up my camera rig more than I need it to be and I also find that it kind of gets in the way sometimes for me when I'm taking photos. Because of this, I found a solution that works best for me. It's very run and gun but yet it still allows me to switch from a photo rig to a video rig very efficiently. The pieces of this kit that you will need for this rig is two Arca Swiss quick release plates. I prefer one in a 30 millimeter and one in a 60 millimeter. You will need one Arca Swiss clamp, a cheese plate, a left-handed wooden grip with a rosette mounting plate. For starters, you will take the smaller Arca Swiss quick release plate, the one that is only 30 millimeters, and you'll mount it to the bottom of your camera and you'll have it run parallel with the lens. I like having the smaller quick release plate on the bottom of the camera due to the fact that it doesn't really add any bulk or weight to the camera rig for when taking photos, but yet it still allows me to quickly mount it to a tripod or monopod when needed. Next, what you will do is you will take the cheese plate and you'll have it run perpendicular to the lens if it were sitting on the bottom of the camera. From there, you will take the Arca Swiss clamp and mount it to the furthest that you can on the right side on the cheese plate using the supplied quarter 20 screw that comes with the cheese plate. From there you can mount on the second quick release plate to the bottom of the cheese plate on the furthest right side as well and this will mimic the same direction that we put the clamp on. As you can see here I both have the, the long ways running perpendicular to what the cheese plate is. Once that's all out of the way we can then take our rosette mounting plate and add it to the far left side of the cheese plate and as far as forward as you can. Once the rosette mounting plate is on, you can then add the wooden grip using the neural knob that comes on the grip to tighten it down to the mounting plate. And what's nice about this is that you can adjust the pitch to your liking. I have it a little bit at like a 45 degree angle. Once you have the bottom portion all built out, you can easily add it to the bottom of your camera using the mounting plate or the quick release plate on the bottom of the camera. And all you have to do is tighten down the clamp that's on the cheese plate. And you have a nice solid two hand setup right here. From there, what I recommend is adding a mic on top. And I would recommend either if you're on a budget, going with the Movo VRX10 or the Rode Video Micro, which you're listening to right now. I did a comparison video on both of these mics. I will link that up in the cards up here, but those are two really, really great mics for the money. They're both like $60 or less. So if you're in a budget and you're looking for a microphone, I highly recommend those two. What's so great about this rig is that with the flip out screen on my GH5, the wooden grip doesn't interfere with that flip out screen whatsoever. And it also has a mounting plate on the bottom here so I can still attach it to a tripod or a monopod when needed. What's so great about this rig is that I can switch it from a video rig to a camera rig within seconds or I can break this all down and throw it inside my camera bag and it doesn't really take up a lot of space. It's really really handy in the fact that if I want to vlog real quickly I can take this off throw on it, throw this on a tabletop tripod and still have really nice audio due to the mic on top of the camera. If I want to go back to shooting B-roll, I just literally slide this back on and tighten it down on the back. Lastly, if you're on a studio set or if you're on a set and you want to go from shooting handheld to a gimbal, you literally can take the mic off and the bottom off and throw this setup right on a gimbal and you don't have to worry about setup or take down time. It's very, very quick, very, very efficient. Super, super nice. It's a very compact setup, very light setup, but it gives me a little bit more stabilized handheld footage, which is really, really nice. And along with the fact is that it doesn't really take a lot of time to set up or tear down. And I can even fit this all in my backpack with ease. I don't have a huge cage rig set up where I have to take a gajillion accessories off and break it down. I can just literally throw the camera with the lens, this wooden grip part, and the mic, and I can have really great audio and really, really great handheld footage. And if I need to, I can still take photos due to the fact that I have the camera strap buckles on here yet. 
Two more things that you could add to this rig if you want to go a step further would be a top handle that connects to your hot shoe, but I only recommend using a mic on top of this. I would not throw a monitor or a light due to the fact that I wouldn't want to put that much weight on the hot shoe. I feel like over time it would damage it, but this is something to consider if you do shoot a lot of low shots. I happen not to shoot a lot of low shots, so I don't use the hot shoe uh, top handle as often. Another thing that I would recommend is the Gorilla G Cup. They only make this for certain model cameras, but this is a eye cup that's for your EVF, and this is super, super nice when shooting out in the sunlight or if you happen to be someone that wears glasses. To give my final thoughts about this camera rig here, it's definitely not the best solution for everyone out there, and with time, you will find out what works best for you. For me, right now, this solution is the best for me. I love the fact that it's compact and it gives me a nice run and gun setup with the added stability of the second wooden grip, but yet I can break it down quickly and efficiently to make it a photo camera within seconds. I really do think that this rig is the best solution out there right now for YouTubers or content creators. So that's going to do it for this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed and got something out of it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell. That way you get notified when I drop future videos just like this one here. And last but not least, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.